What's up everyone, this is Jens. Let's unwind with Biomutant. So apparently we already took over the three smaller forts of the Jagnai. And all we have left to do in terms of the tribal wars is to defeat the final boss uh, of the Jagnai. That is, uh, I'm fairly sure that there are some form of war between the other tribes as well so let's hit them and let's hit them hard if you're not comrades your fearless leader is we have been waiting for you taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes what's the defense the scouts have reported activity nearby that's worth looking into before you enter the fort They've positioned a storm tower near the fort that you'll use to get over the wall. However, you need to prop up its wheelhouse first to stabilize the situation. Right. What's a storm tower? They've built the storm tower to protect and get you over the walls of the fortification while keeping an element of surprise. And clearly no one would see that from inside the fort? Okay, sure. Hop the hop. Oh, cool. Night right. falls like a giant around here. You want a piece of this? Come and get it. we already have almost the next level filled up so oh and uh, it looks like we might actually get to that before fighting uh, uh, for the fort all right Now, that one actually hit nice. And now, let's give them a bit of radiation poisoning. There, that takes care of the big guy. And I think the small ones will just uh, uh, prepare in a little barbecue. There. Clearly not. Hey. He. Return to the seafood. Okay. Dawn must be coming ah. soon, because it's awfully dark right now. <laughs> that is actually true, it is always darkest before dawn. There. It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their Sifu. All right, we'll do. Hello? You need to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life to truly become free. Oh, 
Will the big guys come into battle with me? That would be nice. Oh well. Actually, I think this one is probably not going to be all too hard. Seeing as there's going to be like a serious level gap between them and me. And bonker bonk. Alright, let's take out the first three, not quite. Well then now. Upgrade! set on fire actually it looks really cool in the in the slow-mo um, and onward that's a fire starter the dry grass looks like it would ignite easily you just need to create a spark to light a fire okay it burns brighter than the light. Yes, it does. Why did we set those on fire here? Oh. All right. Fort guards, huh? Well, look, guys. We don't have to do this. That's a third degree burn, I would say, but uh, okay. You call it a flash wound if you want to. I'll just finish them off with them with the steel. Or maybe uh, a little bit of radiation poison will never hurt anyone. Okay, cool. The dip pyro sizzler. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Better shake a leg. Yours, theirs, whatever. <laughs> that has to be the best commentary ever. Can I like fly over there? Is that the idea? Probably can actually. Okay. 
That cannot be it. Huh. Okay, so I know the spark plug. I know where to go, just not how to go there. Or what the way might be. Um, I see a ladder for the final approach, just. I just jump up here? I see, okay. That was a lot easier than I thought. The plague that's ruining the land needs to be stopped. Wait, what? That ladder doesn't work? Are you serious? Um. That's a pyro sizzler right there. Whoa, okay. Just get to work on it. Make it frizzle. I see. Cool. Nice crackle. Can we just stay with this thing and like Keep blasting them. I'm afraid we cannot. Too bad though, that would have, would have been fun. Um Oh I thought that was the gate. Any loots? Uh apparently not. The battering bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. The battering bonker. <laughs> cool. Okay. Anything here? Still no. Okay. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. <laughs> That's bonkers. Oh boy. There we go. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. Um, he didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. Let's see if we can persuade that guy as well. He needs a logical reason to surrender the fort without a fight. <laughs> he recognizes the strength of a good argument and agrees it's for the best. <laughs> He'll surrender the fort to you. Yes. Neat. The rival Sifu is defeated and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Do good, and good will follow you. I think we could uh, maybe kind of assimilate them. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Okay. Uh, he says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. 
Your Sifu is pleased. You're one step closer to uniting the tribes. It's a pity you needed to use force to get the point across. But he's still concerned about the fate of the world. You can't lose this war. If you get the ending wrong, the effort it took to get there was in vain. A proper ending, however, provides closure. Oh. He says you've grown so much stronger than when you first met. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. Like their conscience, huh? That little voice inside that lets you know right from wrong. Don't go against it if you want to enjoy life without fear of death. I would say let's assimilate all the other tribes. What was it? We are the boy. Resistance is future. Heroes inspire in a way nothing else can. He knows things that you need to know. Wonders just gonna say the same thing again. Cheery about you finally meeting Goop at the sub no says he knows things that you need to know. Well, great. Then. Wishes you good. All right. See you later, alligator. Ooh, ooh. It's the Jagni staff. We have a staff. Is it any good? Those are the other rival outposts. Um, let's take a look at this one. Tribe weapon. What does it do? Oh, is that? Ooh! It lets us fly? Okay, cool. Okay then. Oh. Let's see if there's anything interesting to be found at this newly delivered port. Almost certainly like a shop around here. No shops. Yes, shop. Claims to have strange things from the dead zone that are so rare they need to be seen to be believed. Let's take a look then. The doors here are always open for a potential. The Giga Blade. <laughs> Ooh, and then the metal giga blade but 200 <gasps> yes oh we could exchange that for the hack rain that we are already using and then we would do um, fire and radioactive damage at the same time i think that would be good a toe cutter it's neat though and it does cold damage Ah, oh. oh, I, I totally, that is neat. That is so neat. Let's see if we can uh, build a nice one-handed slash with that. Although, I like that this one is like very fast on attack speed. Hmm. Plus, actually, Riposte is a very, very nice um, perk to have on a weapon, so 
I think I'm gonna go with this one for now. Plus we can just like exchange it directly. No need to buy or get any that went well. other add-ons like a, like a proper handle or whatnot. The See what they have. Offers you extraordinary prices for Sees you're eager to make a deal, but cautions you not to be too eager if you want to make a good deal. Okay. Uh, that's what we're always looking for, and those are terrible. Ooh! Ooh! Are you serious? That's not even half bad. Nice armor. Little less health, but actually two add-ons. Bit of crit chance, energy region. That one is actually quite neat. Hmm. I don't know, should we? Back where? Additional crit and nice loot chance, health up, same armor. Ooh, wow. Interesting. Bandage bomber vest. <laughs> okay. Metro pants. Um, not decided on this one. Mainly due to looks and the loss in crit chance. Uh, not for now. Not for now. What do you have? Shopkeeper claimed. Uh huh. Another saw blade gun and needs vitality fifty. Okay. Uh, I think we have 30 or 40, not sure. No, we do have 40 because there was another gun that already needed 40. Speed it. A kill with this gun immediately reloads its magazine. Cool. Uh, ah, and actually, guns is what we're looking for because we can dual wield them. Fire rate is good, accuracy is dead serious um not sure increases the range right overflows the magazine with 50% of the capacity cool. okay ooh an automatic rifle actually mm -hmm. yeah but i think we can just uh, actually keep looking for something neat there so, um, first this, uh, okay, we're good on luck for now, although I do want to actually push our crit chance uh, above the 50%. You know what, uh, I'm gonna go That's with that. That's an improvement. Pure luck, pure luck. What do we do with eight bio points? Hardly ever use them anyway, so um, you know I think I should equip that one. Uh, could have actually come in quite handy at some fights we were in earlier. Um, yeah, we're mainly good on resistances due to our nice clothes that we have. And apparently we need to be a little more mean in the upcoming episodes because our dark aura is suffering. So, uh, crafting, offhand, or whichever one actually, we take that one. Oh, no, we don't take that one, we take that one. Also, I need to actually check if maybe our starting weapon, a nice uh, cold slasher, we can just like upgrade at one of those upgrade benches and 
make it better there. So, base type, that hack grind. Boom. And that should hopefully. Perfect for slicing and dicing. Already take off the. It did the um, add ons from the other one. So, uh, how would that one look here actually? I think that looks better than in front. Although, actually, in front, uh, it kind of looks like it really can tear into people. Yeah, I'll put the clamp screw there at the nail. The nail here. Huh? Yes. Okie dokie. Now, what is that? One seventy seven to two forty six. And after being hit by an enemy attack, the next hit inflicted with this weapon does double damage. I like it. This one, of course, has like basically double damage. That is quite neat. That is quite neat indeed. Um, okay. Um, gear. Main hand takes. Oh, main hand is already properly. Wait. Off hand takes that one. And main hand takes that one. And there we go. Now, I think we also need to pay a visit to our friend Goo. Which actually is not that hard because we can just fast travel to him. So let's. I wonder if we just uh, keep our level high enough um, above the enemy's level, we can just uh, keep going with uh, pers persuasion. That would be kind of Your destiny that. waits on the path you'll take to avoid it. Right. Um, isn't he like here? Yeah. Hello, Goopy Goop. That's enough quacks to sustain the Goo Glide Flipper with infinite ammunition. Goop okay. says he was there when the Porky Puff took out of date's leg, so this world eater has made it personal. <laughs> After that, Out of Date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the World Eaters, and it wasn't by foot. He seems happy to talk. Tell me everything. Thinks Greenfinger is so amazing. Hard to find that cave of his, but it's worth it. Who is Greenfinger? Seems surprised you have to go. He seems happy to talk. Yeah, All right then. Says you should take it easy. Yes, I should. Um, I think we should also pay a visit to the underground dude with the monsters. Moog, was it? It was.
in the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. Moog asks if you know the first rule of monster honking. It's to go where the monsters are. To hunt, you must know the grounds of your prey. All right, let me know where they are. Few monsters warrant the fear we have for them. And you don't look like someone that's easily scared. You could help him out. I'll gladly. Start with one monster and take it from there. Spot its tracks and report back. Also, bring back any poo you find. His friend Boom has a nose and a use for that. Right, okay. Says you're right. You gotta catch them all. Where's that dog? You gotta now? catch them all. <laughs> nice one. Um. True, true. No one can escape the dark. No, but you can fight it. Fight it. You can't fight love. Watch me. <laughs> That was awesome. All right, I like that. The shaggy trunk nut. Okay, that sounds interesting. Uh, which leaves one more thing, um, at least for here. Um, wasn't there this boom dude? Boom exploder, exactly. Feel he is sunshine down here. So. Ooh, we are fully resistant to hypoxia, it appears. Cool, okay. Wait, but we do have the cool Macton down here, so... Ooh. And we need to check what he is carrying, can't we? Shu Yans. Oh. There. Sorry about that. Seem to have hit the wrong buttons. Uh, right. What do we have? Twerp toes. Sure. That's somehow weirdly in the back. But gold versus green, I think. All right. Let's start here. Um, but we do have a dragon skull now. That looks really nice. And the weird bunny bone. Yeah, that, that looks so odd. Definitely that one. Torso. Safe bet. A thump depper. Or the ram resistor. Right? That one actually looks kind of neat, but I think... Ooh, that one really goes nicely with the, with the weird rabbit head. I'll take that. Um, not much choice there. Not much choice there either. Legs. Cleg legs or outsiders. I don't know. Um, those seem a bit clunky and like with a lot of angles and they are a little more round. the feet well those are golden so I'll just stay on those there and off to um you make piloting this big metal thing look easy I do it's because I'm awesome um, how do we get up there? Ooh! No sinking in the... In the goo. And now we just... Shoot them all, I guess. Huh? Where are they? 
I see. There's something here. That is actually not half bad. I would miss the crit chance for sure. A bit of extra health cannot hurt. Energy region is good trade off for the actual lack of energy. And the base armor is definitely higher than the base armor of the jacket we're carrying. And wow, that is some serious fire resistance right there. Wow. Ooh, even more. You are treating us, aren't you? Cancel your picnic. else to be found here that looks like that looks that definitely looks like something could be found here up it up there's something down there uh -huh. okay I'll bite Ooh. this is dark um, Okay, booby trapped. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I see and a rifle. Too bad. I want a gun that does that. Or an AR. Anyway, that is not half bad. A bit of armor PS on it at least. Good reload speed. Serious magazine. And nice. It has the conduit perk. That is lovely. Cool. Looks pretty, that's for sure. <laughs> Another toilet brush, okay, sure. One hand slash. <laughs> okay. Not part. Add some more, alright. Ooh. Outshrap notes. Add on. That is. A serious add on 21 to 36 damage and plus 2% crit chance. Lovely. <gasps> One handed slash with biohazard applied. Ooh. Cool, cool. Um, let me just quickly check what that place was where we are. Uh, it doesn't say. Okay. Up. 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 The oil claimed this land a long time ago. Just pointed in the right direction.
Um... Oh, hi. Who are you? Find you sneaking around. There. Oh, where did you go? That did hurt him indeed. Nice, and... Oh, that was perfect timing actually. And there he goes. Bye bye buddy. Still so much more place to be explored. It's like wow wow wow. Okay now there was uh there's no puddle here. There's something here apparently. Bang Shelter 7C should have been stated right there in Toxinol lettering. Bang Shelter 7C, okay, sure. Um nope. Wasn't there one more? No. Okay. The air gets um, stale down here fast. Well, also the light is missing. Uh, oh, okay. That is certainly not the way. There's something up there, apparently. Now, did okay, that's not it. Well, then that only really leaves that path off to the right here. Small hog back. Keep it together. Uh, nope, nothing here. Water leaking through the roof. Okay. Jewels. Muzzle. Okay. Skirt, skirt. Sure. So far, I haven't seen the glow. Ah, there it is. Always keep the best for last, so. A backpack, huh? Ah. Nothing to be concerned with. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now we're talking. 21 armor. Okay, we have. Uh, energy up, energy region up, and how? Lucian's down, armor up. And it looks so pretty. That is a cool handle for a saber. Alright. Nice. Okay, that's, that's good. Um, now... Out of here. And then your ears just pooped. My ears did what please? Uh I'll just try Let's see if we can make our way up here somehow. Ooh, 
What's this? Let's see. Is that like an outpost tower? No. Okay, now there was some sort of bridge here. It's Skypook outpost. The Ankarty tribe blew life into that ages ago. Okay. Uh, another tribe, huh? Cool. Oh, what did we do? We just set this on fire? That's so mean. We are really mean. I didn't see that coming. And they were all just chilling there. All right, had I known that, I wouldn't have done it. But on the other hand, we did need some dark aura, so. It's another motor juice station running on empty. Cannot shoot through the glass apparently. Interesting. Didn't I just see an indicator down there? Yes. Ah, for the si another sign. We sample. are lonesome animals that spend all our life trying to be less lonesome. Mm. There. Let's see. The other one was right next to it. That's so weird. Now, was there something here hidden at the Motor Jew station? What does the map say? It doesn't say anything. Okay, well then, now finally off to the bomb. Dude, and another signpost. This they place are is like... called Puff Duff Bluff. Boom bangs around here. The, the the signposts are like flies down here. There's more signposts than NPCs. Let's see. Right. Okay. Hi, Boom. Boom job. It's interesting, and that is some sort of shrine again. Oh, that's a classic Sai shrine, okay. Nice. Uh, let's talk to Boom. Let's see what he has to say. What's happening, mate? This little fellow feels the world's on the edge of blowing itself up. He feels it's inspiring to see someone out there still banging away at it. Do you blow things up yourself? Claims it's easier to make green by selling bullets than using them. Thinks you've built yourself up into a walking arsenal. He can't wait to see what you do with all that gunpowder. Save the world or help it go kaboom. Says that even boom makers can do some good if they make the right things explode. Just That's think about the interesting way to look at it. With earth shattering kabooms. What happens next depends on what you blow up. Says that life's kind of like a fuse. Sometimes it does just what you expect, and other times it catches you by surprise. Be careful with what you light up. <laughs> what is what you would do to put that bang back in the bomb? Thought the world was kaboomed, but it looks like something might be growing in its crater. Wonders why you put so much work into making things safer. Can't see why you join up with the myriad. They go around cutting his fuses short. Um. Okay. I think the only way to improve things is to flatten them. <laughs> but enough about you. 
ein Titolo vor. Says his Muma Grandiosa taught him the secret source of making ammunition. And now that there's an endless need for bangs, business is booming. He was born during the baby boom back in the days, and he was so interested in the family business, he even got nicknamed Boom. He'll take the family secret with him to the grave, which could be any day now, with the world ending and all. <laughs> and let's go with that one. Though many have tried, he hasn't met anyone yet who he couldn't defuse. Of course he doesn't want it, but if the world goes under, he hopes it goes with a bang. <laughs> but before that, he wants to make the best of the time he's got. Boom says he's always looking for ingredients for ammunition. He has enough sulfur, but he can never get too much charcoal, so if you'll get him some of that, he'll make boom exploding gunpowder just for you. You know, actually, that does sound like a that does sound like a cool upgrade somehow. Glad you're willing to bite on that particular bullet. Totally. How far is that? Around the corner. Okay. I think we can still uh, do that. Oh, cool! Yeah, that should be past the Find us a sunset to ride into. Um. Oh, also, maybe. Oh, over there's a. I, I see a hot air balloon. Ooh, cool, cool. They're down here too, apparently. In the middle of the beast, we know where. Hoppity hop. Who are you? That's a lot of them. Hey, are we doing that thing again where our shots and the special attacks don't connect? Why wasn't I briefed about that? Something. Okay. Okay. Um, we appear to have crashed. So, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.